So here we begin our session by learning one more way that can bring change in different objects. That is by mixing them together. Do you like curd? Yum, I do. Mm. Do you know how it's made? Using milk. When I was a child, I used to be amazed seeing how the milk overnight changes into curd. I used to always think that my mother is a magician. She used to mix something in the milk and it used to change to curd. But actually what happens is, a small quantity of curd is added to warm milk. The milk is stirred and is set aside for a few hours at a warm place. After a few hours, the milk changes into curd. But what if I want milk back from the curd? Is it possible? It surely is not possible. Also, one day I was making fresh lime juice for me and I added salt instead of sugar. Yuck, it was all salty then. But I was wondering, can we remove the salt back from the juice? Is that possible? You might think it is not, but we can get salt back if we evaporate the juice. Okay, now think about this. A bag of cement lying in the open gets wet due to rain during the night. The cement has changed to concrete now. The next day, the sun is shining bright. Will the water mixed in the cement be evaporated? Can we get back the cement? Can this change be reversed? No, it cannot be. Because the cement has changed to a new substance. We cannot get it back. So we observe that when we mix things together, they undergo change. And some changes are reversible, while some are irreversible. Thus, so far, studying about changes around us, we understand that changes can happen naturally or we ourselves can change objects through many ways. Changes can be brought by mixing things together or by heating them or by burning them. All these changes can be either reversible or irreversible. As of now, this is the way we learn to classify changes. But as you go to higher classes, you will learn more about the ways in which changes can be made and the way these can be grouped. So finally toppers, here we come to the end of our lesson. But the changes around us are never ending. So keep observing them.